today on Chefs vs. City. Food Network stars Aron Sanchez and Chris Cosentino bring their big city skills to the country's newest culinary player, Portland, Oregon. The culinary scene in Portland is exploding. Here they'll battle two hungry homegrown chefs, Gabriel Kapuska and Ryan McMullen. That's them right there, oh my God! We're right behind them, Chris, let's go! It's time-honored experience versus up-and-comer pride as both teams take on five extreme food challenges like wrangling gigantic halibut and getting schooled in the art of cocktails. I'm not a mix all. No, they're gonna be detailed. From the heart of the city to the farthest flung reaches. Oh my God. Chefs vs. City Portland starts now. Chris, give me a hand. You man up and do it. Portland, Oregon is famous for its natural beauty, but it's also America's newest foodie magnet. The city's emphasis on sustainable farming and local ingredients is quickly creating a taste found only here. With countless fine dining restaurants and hundreds of food carts, this gutsy chow town can satisfy anyone, making Portland a food lover's destination not to be missed. Today, Chris Cosentino and Aron Sanchez are ready to cause some commotion in peaceful Portland. I don't think people realize how unique Portland is. You have some really sort of young and up and coming chefs who are developing their own style using local ingredients. My name is Gabriel Kapuska. I'm the chef owner of Davis Street Tavern, located in Old Town, Portland. My name is Ryan McMullen, and I am the chef de cuisine at Davis Street Tavern. Gabriel and I, we're kind of a big deal. This is a nasty tie snapper. Ryan has determination and a dash of craziness. Have that lamb rack, please. Gabriel brings his passion, his love for food, and the knowledge he has as a chef. Food scene in Portland is wonderful. A lot of unknowns are just people with crazy ideas actually get success. Come on. Chris and I have big city experience. You know, San Francisco and New York are as big as it gets. Chris and I have that edge. Chris and Rome might think they're big city slick, but they're in Portland now, and they're going to learn something. We're ready to fight. Welcome to Chefs vs. City, Portland, Oregon. Thank you. We're here at Pitock Mansion, a century-old landmark in the hills above downtown. Long overlooked by foodies, Portland has become an Epicurean hotspot, known for its dynamic cuisine. Just another town, just another victory, that's it. I don't think so. No, no way, Jose. You flew here, we grew here. Today, you're gonna be competing in five intense food challenges as you race throughout Portland. When I say go, you're going to head down to vehicles that are waiting for you. Inside, you'll find your first clue, as well as a backpack that contains items that might be useful for winning this race. Don't forget about them. The first team to cross that finish line wins. Go! Race is on. Yo. The scale of this place, as big as can be, you may be surprised by what you will see. As in C S E A. 16 797 Southeast 130th Avenue, Clackamas, Oregon. It's probably a fish processing place, because I know they have meat processing out there. The teams now have to head 20 miles southeast to suburban Clackamas, home of the Pacific Seafood Company, the largest independent seafood company in North America. Since 1941, this family-owned business has blossomed from a single storefront to a 2,000-employee operation with more than 20 plants spanning the Pacific coast. The Pacific Seafood Company works year-round to reel in the freshest catch, like tuna, salmon, and humongous halibut, which can weigh up to 300 pounds, all for sale in the U.S. as well as abroad. So chopsticks, tongs, okay, white chalk. It's got dividers. You know those like in the bottom of your wine boxes around? Yeah. But they're small. Maybe like for candies. This is the flag. Turn left. I see flags. Watch that. Okay, all right. Search through the fish to find the right one, hang it on the scale, and you're almost done. Remove the head and cut the fillets, pack the fish, and head on your way. All right, all right cool. Go. We gotta put this gear on right here. 
In this challenge, each team will help fill a fresh seafood order by searching through four bins filled with 6,000 pounds of various fish to locate a single 50-pound halibut. Next, they'll need to perfectly fillet and package the behemoth halibut to meet the plant manager's strict specifications. Rifling through dozens of fish that weigh up to 70 pounds is utterly exhausting, especially since FDA guidelines prohibit any of these slippery giants from ever touching the floor. The first team to survive this strenuous challenge will get their next clue and head out in the lead. There's very stringent rules on how things are to be done. You wear smocks, two types of gloves, a plastic sleeve. I mean, you don't want to have anything get on top of this fish that's being shipped all around the world. Woo! Go, go, go. Move the shovel, get out of the way. Go for it. We have to find one 50-pound halibut. And in those bins is not just halibut. All the other little fish are just getting in the way. All right, this is a sexy mahi-mahi. Do you see that? Look at that. Ah! You're looking at one. I'll give this one. Obviously, we know what a halibut looks like. It's a flat fish, dark on one side and white on the other. Yeah, that's Go. it. Go! Go, just do it! Oh. The key is to put the head of the fish up on this hook, but it's slippery, it weighs a ton. It has to be double that, bro! Double that! It's too small! Yeah. Go, go. Ultimately, I go to the biggest fish on the top just to see what that weighs. Way over, it's about 70. Holy hugging fish. <laughs> Smaller. Smaller. Don't want to redo those. Okay. We're talking about a fish that can yield about 50 portions. This is, this is a lot of expensive product. Nothing can touch the floor. Chris, give me a hand. Put oh, man up and do it. Ah, ah madres. Coming up. My hands are starting to feel like Gone numb. And later. It's enough. That's enough, dude. It was enough. Dude, shh. It was enough, dude. Our own, do not let those fish hit the ground. Ugh. She's over. Go, our own. Ah, madres. Our task is we have to find one 50 pound halibut, break it down into it's four fillets, box it, and it has to be ready to be shipped. That's, she's too big. Holy cow, man. Just a lot of back and forth with different fish. How are your arms? Tired. Yes. My forearms are just burning and stinging. Dude, go. Good job. I can't believe these guys found the fish. Now that we've found our fish, we have to fillet it properly and package it. I decided Ryan would be best to fillet the fish because he has an extensive sushi background. There you go, sushi master. Mm, that's yeah, a 50. That's her, that's her, that's her, that's her. Get it close, make sure you hit that spine bone. Come on, Aron. Is it her? Uh. It's her, it's her, it's her. Go. All right, it's her. They have a head start, but we have experience on our side. I'll do the top, and then you're gonna do the belly, you're gonna do the belly side. It's basically a flat fish that has four fillets. The first two top fillets, and then the two bottom fillets. Aron, do it right. All right, clean cut, supervisor is watching. You're not gonna get a good recovery leaving all this meat on here. Uh, no, sir. Long strokes. Start at one end and go full length. You don't wanna saw. Fish. Short, herky-jerky cuts are going to actually make little mini incisions in the flesh. All right, go. Supervisor. This right here, you guys? Yeah. It's ratty. This needs to be cleaned right. up a little bit right, right. here. Oh, uh, we're going to lose our lead. All right, sir, can we get an inspection here? Clean this tail up. Yep. That does not look good. All right. Are we cool? Much better there. Put that in the box. Lay it in there nicely with both hands. Push on flesh. Put that on. I got the ice. Have we passed through once we fold that over ice it? Yep. All right, go, go. Supervisor, how does that look? Good. Congratulations. Here's your next goal.